Welcome to week number six for Jane T. My name is Jodie Wunting and this is our six week course where our slimmers are losing a stone in six weeks. Hi, Jane. Hi, Jodie. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Thank you. Yes, so I'm doing it all is right. the final way in. Well, if it had been Tuesday, like we thought, it would have just been two, but it's a good two now. So I'm oh. happy with that. Great, wonderful, well done. So your total weight loss is now 11 and a half pounds, which is fantastic. Uh, and the good news thing is about the 11 and a half pounds, it's almost 12 pounds, which yeah. actually means two pounds a week for six weeks. Yeah. yeah. Which I'm really happy with. I am, because I think it's, um it'll probably stay off now whereas I always think if you lose a lot it, there's a good chance you can once you start eating properly it, it can go back on again whereas I'm hoping that sort of this will now well I intend to keep it on and use the app which I found a really good helpful tool that app yeah, my fitness pal just for tracking is so good because yeah. it gives you the nutritional breakdown, not only the calories, but also the protein, the fat, the salt. You know, it's really quite interesting to see what you eat and how it breaks it down. Yeah, but for me as well, it, it's just something for me to keep an eye on things because you can sort of think in your head, but you, I don't know the exact calories of things. So yeah. to sort of be told and then go, well, if you do have that, you're going to minus, <laughs> you know, <laughs> just focuses the mind a little bit. Absolutely. So looking back over the last six weeks, what's been your biggest challenge, do you think? Well, getting my steps in. Yeah. I, I do find that difficult because I could have been gardening all day, but if I haven't really moved from where I am, I've been in a big border then it's not made all that much difference but uh but it I am keeping my eye on my steps so I am trying to to keep them up but I think one of the big things has been that as a woman of a certain age um I have been able to lose the weight because yeah. I was very worried that it was going to be well that was it now you know you, you are the age you are um, you know once you hit your 60s that's it sort of thing and I thought oh it's it's just not going to come off but I mean I've still got some to lose but it has come off yeah so it, it you know I can go forward now knowing that I can lose it it's not just a, a given and again this is the good thing about my fitness pal because to be honest most people they don't need to change a lot of what they're doing they just need to bring the portion size down a little bit and actually yeah. the weight will start to fly off yes yeah and it doesn't it's not restricting you to saying you'll never have chocolate again yeah because that would be it for me <laughs> yeah. i would have immediately want chocolate <laughs> but if i can plan a small you know 70% one of those little co 70% dark chocolate ones yeah um in and still have it and maybe even you know you plan a glass of wine or something you you're okay you just makes you more mindful of what you're eating the rest of the day yeah so what's been your most enjoyable part of the last six weeks <laughs> losing the weight because I honestly didn't think <laughs> I would <laughs> I thought that's it um no, I think it's just been being part of a group and doing it all together. And, you know, Kate and I have enjoyed doing it together. And I know we're going to carry on and I can look at she's her, fit, her app and she can look at mine. And yeah, somebody to just keep an eye on things. How far does your daughter live away from you? About 20 minutes. In the walking or? No, in the car. She's oh, at Ashford. Oh, we I didn't realise. Sort of, yeah, we're sort of 20 minutes away from all three of them now. <laughs> I didn't realise she was so far away, or so I would have suggested a little walk to her house every day. But that's, <laughs> that's not possible, is it? <laughs> Especially down those back lanes. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, walk, not walking down Ashbourne Road. I've seen some of the drivers. <laughs> <laughs> but how could is there anywhere nearby that you could walk to for instance locally every day just to get those steps in 
Well, yeah, I mean, we've got a field, but I've got two fields that I could walk around. I, I, we're in the middle of the country. So, I mean, there's no excuse. Yeah. I think I thought when we moved here, oh, you know, we'll be out walking. We're, we're down at the end of a lane. You can't go any further past us. And you sort of think, oh, we'll walk over the fields. But there's so much to do. There's so much gardening and things to do that you never sort of actually go out for a walk. But I could do it. I could do it very easily. How about that we set up a new garden at the end of one of the fields? So you have to walk there <laughs> yeah. every day just to water it or something. Just to do it, yeah, yeah. I mean, I really got no excuse at all. So, <laughs> um... And then looking after the course, how how is there a certain amount of weight you'd like to lose or would you like to get to a certain dress size? What would you like to achieve and how long would you like to achieve it in? I'd like to lose perhaps another half a stone, which I think I could possibly do. I mean, more would be good, but yeah. if I could lose another half stone, I think I'd be happy with that because um, you've got to be, it's got to be achievable. So yeah. I'd like to say another half stone now and then see how things go. Um, and I think, <coughs> as I say, it's my son's dog. We've got him staying, not my son, we've got the dog staying there. Oh. Um, <laughs> Um, so I, th I think that's achievable and I quite like to do that with, you know, sort of carrying on doing it weekly, seeing if I can still chip off and do that, that would be yeah. good. So, um, yeah, that, that's, I, I'm, I'm determined to keep going now. So, because I've seen the difference on the scales and yeah, that's the thing. The other good thing about the app as well is that you can remember when we first started and in the goal section, we put that we wanted to lose two pounds every week. If over the summer, for instance, if you're doing stuff with the grandkids and stuff like that, you can actually change that goal to lose one pound a week and it will give you more calories. And you can even mm. change it when you get to your goal, when you've lost another half stone, you can actually change that to maintain your weight as well. So if you are looking to, you know, still track and maintain your weight, it will tell you how much you should be eating to actually maintain. So I'm glad that you found it useful, the app, because I love it. I really do yeah. find it so I think with that, that and the Fitbit, I mean, this is just a, a bog standard Fitbit, but between that and just checking on what you're doing, you can just sort of clock in sort of lunchtime yeah. and see how you've done, how many steps have I done, am I anywhere near or... I'd better go and walk up and down the lane a couple of times. Because we only lived just down from the school, you see, the lane down from the school. Well, now it's lighter. Once I come to keep fit, I should be walking up and down. So, yeah. because it's not that far, but it, in the dark, it's a bit dark. Yeah, in the winter, <laughs> it's not so nice, is it? Yeah, yeah. So, um, as soon as we sort of start back at keep fit, then I shall be walking up there as well. So, Thursdays, I'll be busting it. <laughs> Great, Jane. Can't wait. Right. Well, well done. It's been a pleasure because uh, I'm used to just seeing you for fitness every week. So it's nice to actually yeah. talk about food and <laughs> calories and dining and things like that. <laughs> and I think it's made us look at different sorts of food. So we've been, John and I aren't big fish eaters, but we've been looking at recipes and cod and things like that. We've sort of having more of now. So it has actually made us broaden our horizons a little bit on what we yeah. eat. Fabulous. And it doesn't have to be boring. No, absolutely it, not. It can be very, very tasty, and and that and that's good. And I think portion size as well. Yeah. Mm. Fabulous, right, Jane? Thank you so much. That's all from me. Have you got any other questions? No, just thank you very much. Thank you for all you've done. It's been no, brilliant. My pleasure. I've enjoyed it. Right, <laughs> I will see you at Keep Fit very soon. Okay. Thanks a lot. All right. Thank you, Jane. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.